Hey everybody, so I want to talk a little bit about how we define our company a little different than the average company. Um, number one, we, we try to surround and encompass our company around value to customers. It, it doesn't necessarily mean um, discounts or such things of that nature when we talk about value. Um, because value is hard to measure, value is almost immeasurable, but it, it's sort of, a, number one, a culture thing, and number two, a, a, a personal character thing, too. Um, so just to give an example of value and how our company uh, tries to practice value, delivering value on a daily basis, uh, is, you know, to, for example, um, uh, that something I came across myself recently is a customer walked in and they came in and they were venting they were sort of not complaining but venting about a battery life problem so boom right away I identified a problem on their electronic cigarette mod when they talked about a battery life issue and I, I listened and I realized this person is frustrated um, and they they want, they have a problem that they need solved. Um, so right away, what I did was, because they're such a good customer, is I said, you know what? Even though the battery they didn't buy from us was having issues, I saw a little value in just, hey, you know what? Let me see those batteries. I took it, I threw them in the trash in front of them, point blank, and <laughs> right away, I grabbed two new batteries and I put it in front of her. And she was like, oh my God, thank you so much like just like that i said you know it's no big deal like it's all good i'm taking care of it so i took those batteries away and you know i don't think it's about making the money sometimes or losing the money completely but it's more of the value that we're, we're instilling in them letting them know hey we're gonna take care of you um so that goes a little bit of shows to go to, to show a little bit of value there um another scenario maybe something like um a customer comes in and they're like, hey, you know, I, 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 I need help looking for this address. Hey, not a problem. Let me go to my computer and just pull up Google and just be like, what's the place called or what's the address? Boom, pull it up. And that was it. You know, you, you, you help everybody that comes in that needs help with something. Like you would treat them on a the street, whether you're at work or not. Um, so it doesn't have to always be concrete making a sell. We, we sort of define our own, our company. Um, we're a service-based company and we just happen to sell products. So if we can kind of hybridly put together the both nuances, it delivers ex customer experience uh, to them. And customer experience is a very important thing in, in business. It could be everything from customer service to when they come in, how we treat them, how, you know, for instance, if you walk into a Japanese restaurant, sometimes all the chefs are screaming on top of their lungs, welcoming you to the, to, to the restaurant. That's another way of uh, enhancing customer experience. So, you know, number one is value. We like to try to practice value on a daily basis. Um, and two is, um, you know, customer experience, you know, so how you treat them and things of that nature. I noticed recently that we implemented the tip jar and I think, you know, employees are starting to see the import, uh, starting to understand what value means. And, and I try to explain to them too, don't mistaken, don't use the tip jar as a way to make more money. Use it, the, the tip jar as a way to measure how much value you're delivering to the customer. And, you know, uh, I think it was, I forget it was a speaker, it was, I forget exactly who, but it, basically they say that um, you are worth as much value, you are worth as much value you can deliver to your marketplace. So just, just to give you an example on that also, is for instance, if you wanna make a million dollars uh, one day, how much value can you deliver to your industry or to uh, your your marketplace or to your business in general, meaning to your customers. So if you can practice things on a micro, micro scale of delivering value to just an employee, that little practice can be instilled as a good habit 
and eventually you start to act on that naturally um, and do, good things come from that okay so just to go to show you know what kind of company we are number one we try to deliver value and two customer experience and and just trying to encompass ourselves around that I think is is very very important all right so I want you to, to think about that and if you have any comments leave it below um, and so you know we can we can start also a community on, on, on what value really means and what your two cents of value is at the end of the day we also want to um, and I believe there's a phone conversation I'm going to put in here also that can help support um, the you know uh, the, uh, something we you mean one of the employees had a phone conversation a phone meeting about so yeah put your two cents in let me know what you think and please if you have any um, comments or reviews or anything you can also create a video and send it to me I will add it into this video also okay have a good day That's a good. Um, that's a good example there. And you know, I'll tell you another story that a lady came in. She she brought in the bat. She brought in eighteen six fifty batteries that she didn't buy from us, and they weren't working. She was complaining, and she was venting. I wouldn't say complaining. She was venting about the problem, how the batteries don't work well and they don't last long. And the batteries she didn't buy from us. I just mm -hmm. took it from her. And I tossed it in the trash can. And I gave her two free batteries. You know, so it's not even really, no yeah, whether, whether we make money on them or not, it's sometimes about the service. And if you know that you can deliver the value of service, you have a customer for life. That's the title of it at least, but you're really just mm -hmm. helping somebody out. You know what I mean? So by delivering that value, you pretty much go above and beyond for everybody, you know, and that's why, that's how you, that, that's where we, we started this subject, this conversation was how do you, what have you been doing to get more tips, you know? So. It's almost like a give and take, huh? It's what? It's almost like a give and take. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, the, the, we give it to them and like we're giving them this value. Uh, they feel like almost not indebted to us, but they could count on us. Yeah. Do you know what the word they karma like means? Like, the word karma? Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, I've heard the word karma. I mean, I thought it was like some sort of uh, energy going around the world back and forth. <clears throat> what it could impact. Karma is simply defined as cause and effect. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. It's what you do is what you get back. What goes around comes around. Right. What goes around comes around. Uh, right. But uh, okay. the very simple definition is cause and effect. And sometimes we, we're not mindful of the causes we're causing, so we don't know the effects. So that's where the value comes in. Remember how we said value can't really be measured? So when you put it, yeah. when, you, when you cause something, whether it's good or bad, there's an effect that comes back. So, hey, in your situation, it happens to be a tip, right? It hap- for us, it happens to be a customer for life. So the whole point is for you to apply this practice on a micro scale so that one day you get a mac- macro result, you know. So I'm glad you're starting to see it. Maybe it took the tip jar for everyone to see it. I don't know, you know, because I'm a type of person where I don't want to do things for money. You know, we want to do things to be able to see. Yeah, what- I don't even, I'm not even looking at my tip jar. Like, I, I did, like, the day, like, like yesterday, I was doing, I was like, oh, tips, and then BDC's like, uh huh, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you're gonna oh, give me commission like, or what? Yeah, then like, what the hell? Like, there's a five dollar bill in here. Like, somebody dropped a five in here for me. Like, what the hell? Mm-hmm. What and so, yeah, like, good. Let's continue these five, these yeah. ten minute meetings in between shifts. Just communicate. Um, that way you guys can